Hill Dragon, if you've heard about it, Operation Unite came up with that. Uh, it's been traveling county to county, and Fort Bank has invited them to come down here today and provided the facility and the parking lot for it. Uh, that's kind of how we got it scheduled. Uh, we've been publicizing it here for about the past 30 days. Uh, we rolled in here today, and I think we're up with probably 25,000 pills now. People have brought, dropped off, and uh, so it's been a huge success. People have taken advantage of it. It's a wonderful thing that uh, environmentally safe to, to get rid of old medications and that type of thing and get medications off the street and medicine cabinets away from our kids. Right. Now, say so you've been pleased by the response you've had so far? Yes, absolutely. They, they're telling me that McGoffin County is the record high at this point at 46,000 and we were at 20,000 within the first 30 minutes. Wow. So I think it's looking good for us. So what are you looking maybe to go over? Uh, our goal is to be number one. We want to be number one and get the most we can off the streets. Wow. So the, the pills are counted, yes. or roughly counted? Counted and inventoried in, uh -huh. and uh, then they'll, they'll burn them in, in bunches. Oh, okay. We've even shared, local law enforcement participated with us, Sheriff's Department, uh, Marble City Police. They brought a lot of their old evidence from prior cases, and they're burning all that, even marijuana. They're burning wow. marijuana. So that's now, is this something you plan on doing again if it's yes. uh, we hope to be able to do it quarterly every three months and so we could get a routine established so people know that if they save it up that there'll be a place that they can bring it and get rid of it in a safe way all right well thank you reports and some st statistics that uh, a lot of young people are starting to use drugs by getting medications out of their own med uh, home med medicine cabinet mm -hmm. or from a neighbor's medicine cabinet mm -hmm. Because of that, uh, we decided that we, we needed to come up with a way of disposing of medications that are in homes that are not being used. So we had talked to the guard and they had this machine that we call Builder Dragon and it's a, basically an incinerator. Mm -hmm. So we partnered with them and uh, we've just been going around community to community disposing of medications. Another, another reason we did this too is some reports that also come out about the same time that said that uh, disposing of medications by flushing them down the, the drain or down the moat uh, actually can possibly end up in water, potable water supplies. So we wanted to make sure people understood that there is some danger in just flushing their old medications. So this, this method that we're using disposes of them completely and just turns them to ash and it gets some dangerous drugs off the street and out of, out of homes. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you've got medications in your home and uh, they're not being used and people know that you have medications, that's a temptation for burglary and everything else. So it's best to get them out of there when you're not using them and we're getting them a safe way to dispose of them. And I understand the turnout's been really good here today. Really good, yes. We've disposed of over, I would say now, over 30,000 pills today, which is outstanding. Mm -hmm. and, uh, we've had a lot of cooperation with local law enforcement, had a lot of citizens come by today to drop off their medications and, and we've still got a couple hours to go for this program so we're really, really happy with the turnout today. Well, we thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. That's all to it. <laughs> Yeah, it will really be hard. That'll heat it up.